Welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to look at the rule two, which is called the quotient rule um, of um, laws of exponent. Exponent basically is the number um, uh, that a whole number is raised to. So for example, if you have a raised to one, so this one is what is called exponent or if you have a raised to power two so this is what is called exponent so we're going we're going to look at what happens if you have two numbers of the same maybe same base or it doesn't have to be but um what happens then with the exponent how do you deal with exponent in this case now uh, if you divide so if you can see here rule two we say here that if you have x let's say power m over x power n. So basically um, your final answer should be just x and then you have m which is minus n. So that is the principle that we have to follow. And for that, we're going to use the examples we have here, example one to six to explain um, in detail what how to do any calculation regarding this. So um, sit back and enjoy um, the, the journey. <laughs> so let's say, so the number one is um, x power eight over x power five. Like you remember, we said in this case, now we're going to have x and we just um, subtract the exponent. So that's going to be eight minus five. So our answer is going to be x and um, power three. So is that easy? And anyone can, can use this, this method and um, get an answer. So let's look at number two. So number two here, we have 21 y power seven over seven y power four. Again, here uh, we now have 21, which is a whole number and 21, is divisible by seven. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to divide 24, 21 by seven. So one, seven goes here, one, seven goes here, three. So the whole number we're going to have here, first of all, is going to be three. And then we're going to have y. And in this case, it's simple because we're just going to subtract the exponent. So that's going to be seven, exponent seven minus four. So our answer is going to be three and y power three. So simple, um, everyone can get it because um, it says self-explanatory. So then let's try do number three. Number three is also very interesting, has some aspects of, of the numbers. So let's see how that one works. Okay. So here we have... Um, I look for another pen color so that everything is so number three we have a power six b power nine over a squared b and then we have in bracket a b cubed so the first thing um in this sum is to find out um, how to, um, yeah, the first thing I'm going to do is to, to open the bracket so that it's not so difficult, but that we can multiply everything. So the way I see this, it's not so difficult. So basically we're going to have here, a power six, b power nine over a squared. So, you know, a squared, um, this a squared here, and this is a power one. So that's going to be basically, um, we're going to add them because now we're just going to say here, we have a power two, b um, multiplied by a power one and b power, Three. So to simplify this, it's so simple. We're just going to uh, first of all deal with the uh, the 
denominators. So still we're going to have a power six, p power nine, and but this time around we're going to now look at add the power. So we have here a power three, b power four. And therefore, this makes our answer, you know, then easier because now we're going to have only A. And then we're going to say now for A and A, because these are similar. So we're going to say here, six minus three. And then for B, we're going to say nine minus four. Okay, so nine minus four here. So this is going to be um, A cubed and then B power five. So that's going to be our answer. So you see this using the same method, um, calculation becomes easier and easier and easier. Um, let's try uh, then to go to question four here. Again, <laughs> I cannot draw a straight line, funny though. So we have here four, over five, so yeah, basically four x power three y power sixteen exponent sixteen, and this one is x squared y five. So the easiest method that we can use here is we know that five four over four over five we can't really easily divide it. Although, because we don't, we don't want to, we, do, we want to avoid the decimals. So we're going to have here four over five. And now um, we have X and Y. So this is going to be easy. So we have here X and we just want to subtract the exponents minus one because this is power one. And then Y, we have Y power 16 and basically minus five. So in that case, now we're going to have here 4 over 5, x squared, and y power 11. So that's going to be our answer. You can also write it as 4, x squared, y power 11, all over 5. That's going to be, um yeah, it's the same as, that's going to be the answer for number 4. Um, let's do number five and six quickly so that we <laughs> so that we are done with this rule. So that's I'm going to do it this other side so that um so so here we have twenty four x y x squared, y squared, and then we have here two power multiplied by two, x power eight. So what we're going to see, what we see here is that we have um, denominator have six, and this six is able, we can divide that six with 24, and then we'll have an, our answer, okay? And then we can continue. So in this case now, um, I'm going to say now six divided by, so then say 24, x squared, just y power three. So just breaking, so I'm going to be uh, multiplied by two, x power eight, over six, x, y squared. So this is not so difficult because what we can do here, we can cancel six, six goes here four times. So then, um, and then we, uh, know that four times two will give us eight. Okay, so at the next level, we're going to have eight. And then we have x's, so maybe to deal with the, um, the numerators first, we're going to have here x, and then because this is multiplication, we're going to have here eight uh, plus the, like we're going to add the exponents. So that's going to be x two plus eight, and then y power three over now x y squared. So this is not difficult. This uh, from here we have now eight. And then this is going to be x power 10 
y power 3 over now x y squared. The next level we're going to say now 8. So we have x um, in the numerators and also x for the denominators. So this is going to be easy. So we're just going to say 8x. So then we know 10 minus 1 because then we have 10 minus 1. And for y, we're going to say 3 minus 2. Our final answer is going to be 8 x power 9, exponent 9, and then we have y. As you can see, it's not difficult. It's just something that um, anyone who, um, after all that trial, can get the answer. Now let's do the last, last, last one to, yeah, to just justify that this is a very easy um, work to do. So we have question six. Um, let's say here we have nine, a power seven, b. So let's just break it in each, uh, direct so that we have b. Then we have three, then we have a power six and b power two. All over, we have 18, a power five, b, exponent three. For, for us now, this is so simple. We can do it with the numerators. And as long as we are done with numerators, then we also deal with this. But at this level, we can, we know that nine can uh, then cancel with 18 so that we have here two. Okay, so for the numerator now, we're going to have here a power seven. You remember we are adding the powers. So plus six. And then B. Ah, yeah, so we still have three. Yeah, so let's have three here. And then B, power one, this is power one. So that's going to be one plus two. All over, now we have here two, A power five. and b exponent three. Simple, simple, simple. Um, we are going to have here now three over two, but now we have a and b. So, ah, yeah, so this is going to be 13, this is three. So a power 13, b power three. And here we have a power five and b power three. In this case, it's so easy because um, if the three cancels, so this is going to be three minus three remains zero. So that's going to be one. So basically what we can say here is like this, these two can cancel. So here we're going to have basically three over two, a 13 minus five, which finally gives us something like three, a raised to power eight over two. So that's going to, that's, uh, <laughs> sorry for that. So that's going to be our answer. Three, um, a raised to power, eight yeah here so that's become our answer for this um that's all i want to talk about about the um, the quotient uh rule which goes um which actually indicates or explain how to divide <coughs> um full number uh, like let's say whole number with exponents so that's one thing that I wanted to share with you. Uh, thank you so much for listening. And uh, I look forward to see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.